This is a Peugeot with two people in it. Approximate speed between 47 and 49 miles an hour. The two occupants, neither of which have got seat belts on. Let's concentrate on the front passenger at the moment. As you can see, because the car swerves violently to the left, he actually misses the steering wheel. Doesn't stop him from hitting the windscreen, and the only reason he doesn't continue through the windscreen is because his head hits the bonnet, which is now at 90 degrees to where it should be. The violence of the impact is trying to throw him out the side of the car. Let's look at the rear passenger, see how he travels forward, impacts with the rear of the seat, breaks that and continues on through the windscreen. He would have gone all the way through, but he also gets caught up on the bonnet. From this angle, you can see where the rear seat passenger is thrown straight forward, hits the rear view mirror, which actually dents what would be his skull. His neck then saws its way through the laminate windscreen. This would have probably ended up in a decapitation. Please note how dented the top of his head is. This has been caused by the rear view mirror. Look at the way the car reacts within the collision. If you look closely at where the main impact is, you can see that it hasn't gone in to the passenger compartment of the car and that the bulkhead is actually still intact. And had both occupants had their seatbelts on, chances are they would have got away with this with minor injuries. This collision is now a murder scene. Therefore the road will stay closed until all the evidence is gathered. The two people who have died within this collision are not the only people that were involved. Spare a thought for the families of those involved. It also leaves a lasting impression on the emergency services that go to these type of incidents. It will stay with them for years. This type of scene never goes away. We need to take responsibility for what we do within a car because we are the only person that controls it. Nobody's going to be sat alongside you telling you to slow down, put your seatbelt on, don't use your mobile phone. You have to make that choice yourself.